close your eyes and focus on your breath. As for anything else right now, you just let it pass, let it pass. You want to get in touch with how the breathing feels and make that your foundation. This is the place where you can take your stance. To do good in this world, to have a good life, the mind needs a good foundation. Otherwise you're floating around and many times you may know the right thing to do, but if you don't have the strength to do it, it's as if you didn't know. Knowledge doesn't do you any good. So you want to back up your knowledge about what's right and wrong with knowledge of how to strengthen the mind to do the right thing when it needs to, and let go of all the wrong things. Sometimes it's easy to do the right thing, and sometimes it's hard. It's the times when it's hard, that's when you need as much help as you can get. This is one of the things that the concentration does for you. That's why the Buddha classed this as a meritorious state of mind. Because you have a sense of well-being here in the present moment, but it's not just affecting you, it's affecting other people as well. The good that we do ripples out. It affects all the people that we're related to in any way, all the people that we come into contact with. You've probably noticed some people are in a room maybe and someone walks in and immediately the atmosphere in the room changes just by the presence of that person. Well, the body of that person doesn't do anything, but the person's mind is what has a certain kind of energy. And when the mind is concentrated, that energy gets stronger. So when you want to wish well to other people, okay, get your mind concentrated, because that gives strength to the, to the wish. These currents of the mind that can spread out in all directions. If the mind is concentrated, those currents get stronger, which is why if it's concentrated on greed, aversion, and delusion, you're sending out bad, bad vibes, basically. But if it's concentrated on compassion, concentrated on wisdom, concentrated on goodwill, because then you're having a good influence on the world. The closer you are, the more connected you are to the other person, because the more directly that influence will be felt. But the influence is there, and we shouldn't overlook it. So when you come to make merit, you want to make sure your merit is complete, virtue, generosity, and the meditation. When you want to do good in the world, it has to come out of a concentrated mind. People have a lot of good ideas, but if they don't come from concentration, then what fuels their ideas for how to implement what they want to see can often come from greed, aversion, delusion. Something's wrong. And that tends to spoil the effect, spoil the results. So make sure that you're starting from the right place. And it's this right place right here, which is the mind that's still and solid in the present moment, clear, alert, mindful. Having the desire to do whatever is most skillful. That's how you have the best influence on yourself and on the people around you, whether near or far. <laughs>